Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I want you to take a look at this quilt behind me. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I love scrappy quilts, and my friend Julie brought this to one of our sew-ins, and she showed it, and I just fell in love with it. It's so scrappy and so beautiful, and she used that great Moda Cheddar for the, the background, and I was just so taken with it that I thought, I've got to have one of those. And then, I, my, of course, my next thought was for you guys, and I thought, i got to show you how to make this bow tie block. I made this little one right here. Isn't that adorable? This is one charm pack of Comfort uh, Collections for a Cause Comfort. It's the new line from Moda for the Collections for a Cause series. And um, that's what I, one of the things I love about the pre-cuts is that you get the scrappy look without having to have a lot of scraps. I mean, it's just, it is the scrappy look because it's only one fabric from every fabric in the line. So what I did was I took, um, I took one of these charm packs and then you need about a half a charm pack for your other blocks because you just need two blocks from each square and from each square you can get four. So I want to show you how to make that block. Okay, so to make this bow tie block, you're going to need one charm square and one solid or your background, whether it's cheddar or white or beige. And this background square will actually make two. So what you're going to need is, from each charm square, you're going to need to cut two two and a half inch squares and two one and a half inch squares. And then from the solid background piece, you're just going to need four two and a half inch squares, and that will make two blocks. So let's go ahead and cut some of those. Um, you can see I've got this one done here. Let me cut this next one to show you how I do that. I'm going to lay my charm square on my ruler, I mean, yeah, on my mat, lay my ruler over it. Because they're five inches, we're going to go two and a half inches in, and we're going to make a cut. Then I'm going to take one of those pieces, and I'm going to cut that again at the two and a half to make the two squares. All right, so now we've got the two squares. Now we have this piece left, and we're just going to cut a couple of one and a half inch strips off this, the end of this. And this will give us the, um, the pieces we need to cut our one and a half inch square. So we've got it one and a half inches, and we're going to go ahead and cut that in one, another um, one and a half so that we are um, so that we make sure that we have a one and a half inch square. Okay, so here we go. Lay the ruler on there and cut that. Okay, so, so now we have our two, uh, our two big squares and our two small squares. And then from our background square, we're just going to cut four of these. So we're going to go two and a half in this way. And then we're going to go two and a half in the other way. And you can lay those across from each other or on top of each other. It doesn't matter. You can do them separately or singly. OK, so now this will do two blocks. This is a great little block for all those little scraps you have left over um, from doing little projects. And that's exactly how Julie did this one. She had little scraps and she just kept them in a bag and put them together. I started my own little bag here of um, scraps of things that I had left over. I'm just really excited to make one of these. So let me show you how it's done. We're going to take our two background squares right here and we're going to attach, put a little corner. I mean, put our one and a half inch square on the corner of one of these, and we're going to sew diagonally corner to corner on that. So we're going to take both of these like this, and we'll just line them up on there. You can put a pin in there if you want. I'm just going to move this out of the way and scoot my sewing machine over. There we go. And we're just going to take these to the sewing machine, and we're just going to sew directly across you know, diagonally on that corner, just like this. You can draw the line or you can iron it. It's such a short distance that I just, just kind of wing it. 
So, but it is true with these smaller pieces, you do need to be really careful because they can get out of wax so fast. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to trim off this little edge. You can use your scissors or rotary cut them. And then we're going to press that open. I'll show you this block is just so quick and fun. We're here at the iron, we'll set those seams. And then we're just going to roll that back. Okay, so now here's how this goes together. You're going to take your once your your uh, other two and a half inch square. Look at that! How cute is that? So you attach your square. You're going to put both of your squares on this way, and you actually can do these the same way. You can chain piece them so that your pieces are. Um, you just want them going the same direction because when you put them together, you'll flip them. So we're going to sew one this way. Just like this, right down the side, quarter of an inch. I actually don't have a quarter of an inch foot on here, so I'm going to change that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to sew right along here, quarter of an inch. There you go. And then I'm going to sew my next one. Just make sure that square is lined up on the, on the edges. Right. Now we'll press them open. Set it. Sometimes I get in such a hurry I forget to set. And so then it's then we're going to lay them like that and we're going to set those together. Now this is one of those. I press this to the wrong side, but if you press to the dark, then you will feel this nest when you put it together. So we're going to set it right here. You can feel that seam match up perfectly right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and sew down to make this block. All right, so now we're going to the moment of truth has arrived. All right, here's this darling little block. Isn't that so cute? It's just so quick and easy. Now the fun thing about this block is there are a zillion different ways to set it. You can see that, sh uh, that Julie has hers kind of circularly. This one is set so that it's all just kind of on an angle. Oh, this and then I'm I have this cute pile of them done from a Cape Ann charm pack. And so uh, this is like bow tie. And then I'm going to call this the hair bow. And so you can put these together in circles. Look how cute this is going to be. Let's just lay out a few of them and see what we get. So here's some circles. And what I'm doing is I'm matching up the colors. I'm matching up the, oops. And then you can. We want to put them together so that, oh, there we go, so that we're making circles. Oh, this one is wrong. That's my problem. There we go. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to match up our colors and our uh, whites, and it's going to make these cute little circles like this. This would make a darling little, a darling little baby quilt. Let's see. So can you see how this is coming together? Just so cute. And I love this little Cape Ann charm pack. It's adorable. And we're just putting colors and whites. Make sure we have different ones in there. Isn't that great? So anyway, we just love the bow tie block and hope you enjoy this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.